Previously on Alan Wake, Alice has been kidnapped. Alan, please help me. Alice? You'll do exactly what I say if you ever want to see your wife again. I can't tell anyone except my agent, Barry. Damn it, Barry, the killer. You're my best friend, and I'm worried that you're not right in the head. The ransom is a manuscript I supposedly wrote that's coming true before my eyes. It happened just the way it was on that page. So dark. I have found only a few scattered pages. I want the entire manuscript. The deadline ah. is in two days. I found Good girl. How the hell did she get her hands on the manuscript anyway? I don't know. She's resourceful. I told you you were too hard on her. Listen, I found out all sorts of interesting stuff while I was digging around. Yeah. Mr. Wake, it's Sheriff Breaker. We have an FBI agent here, Agent Nightingale. FBI? He's anxious to see you. You'd better come to the station. Okay. I'll be right over, Sheriff. Let's make this quick, huh? Help you folks? Name's Randolph. I'm the manager. We're looking for Rose. Works as a waitress down at the diner? Rose, sure. Nice girl. Who wants to know? I'm Alan Wake. The writer, huh? I heard on the radio you were visiting. Well, I'll show you her trailer. That Rose, she's a nice girl. Always pays her rent on time. As I was saying, Al, I found all sorts of weird stuff from the local newspaper's archives. This place is crazy. Disappearances, mysterious deaths, urban legends come true, and, get this, most of this stuff takes place around Cauldron Lake. Well, you ain't wrong, mister. The Indians thought the lake was a doorway to the underworld. I'm the God-fearing type myself. I, I don't hold with that sort of thing. Yeah, okay. Anyway, there was an island there owned by a guy called Thomas Zane. Now, some of the articles I found about him make him out to be a famous writer, but I ran a bunch of searches, couldn't find a single thing he wrote. Zane was heavily into diving, so much so that the place came to be called Diver's Isle. But the volcano under the lake erupted in 1970, and Zane went down with the island. Huh. Welcome back to Let's Play Alan Wake again. I'm Burning Dog Face. Things are getting very intriguing. <laughs> Sorry about that, I needed to make some adjustments. And while we're on this menu, it seems they gave me three achievements at the same time. Uh, damn good cup of coffee, discover 25 coffee thermoses, right of way, run down 15 taken with a car, and park ranger took in the sights at Elderwood National Park. That was the one I knew about. I was very surprised to see those other ones. All right. The first thing I need to do is wander Come on, off. mister. I'll take you to Rose's trail. Uh, but there could be loot. Someone carving wood or cutting wood. Actually, that reminds me, I actually had a comment on that subject. Here it is. Shout out to Torek00, who corrected me to say that actually, to uh, Lumberjacks, a widow maker is a broken limb or treetop that's been caught by other trees. They're called that because they can abruptly free fall and land on some poor lumberer's head. I imagine that's the reason they wear hard hats even when nobody's cutting. The more you know! Just follow me. It's not far. Maybe I can follow him to the door and then leave him there. I just... Mm. Big pack of skids. It's not suspicious at all. Climb the skids. Hold X. Which would be weird because B is the interact button in this game. Hi, Barry. Listen, I got things to do. This place don't run itself. Sparkling River Estates. How joyous. Sorry, Mr. Randolph. I didn't realize that was your last name.
I can't sprint here, which is interesting. Oh, oh. Hey, hey, calm down. Aw, oh, give me a break, mister. Can we just get a move on? All right, all right. You win. I'll be good. I guess that must have been a hunting accident or something. The fuck is that doing there? Yeah, how about that? It was there in the morning, as if it had fallen from the sky. But it would take a tornado to lift something like that. We're damn lucky it didn't crush any of the trailers. There was a tornado in the nightmare, I'm just saying. Oh, is this not it? Hot dog, chili dog, corn dog, taco dog, the famous dog, big dog, monster dog, belly burster, trailer trash dog. Belly burster is fifteen dollars. So uh, I was not expecting this to be the uh, the place that uh, Stucky was talking about, the best dogs in the world and all that. Isn't this their backyard? It gets better. A local girl, Barbara Jagger, drowned in Cauldron Lake just a week earlier. They were lovers. Sure, Jagger's a local spook story. The scratching hag comes for you in the dark. Childish stuff like that. Sure. Anyway, Al, I'm just getting to the best part. All of the articles about this stuff were written by Cynthia Weaver. I asked around, and she's that crazy bag lady you met. What, the lamp lady? She can be a little loopy, but she's not homeless or anything. Yeah, anyway, she knew both Jagger and Zane before they both died, and she had some kind of a breakdown. Oh, dear. Oh, there you are. Why did you go over here? You know, all the tire swings I've ever seen had the tire oriented horizontally, not vertically. You sit in it with your butt in the middle. And your legs and arms sticking out the sides. Well, mister, this here's Rose's trailer. You mind me asking what you want with her? We're just here to talk to her, pal. A whole lot of nothing. All right. Probably. Oh, there is a thermos in there. That well, makes me wonder. All right, all right. Let's, uh... Do I wander off? I haven't found anything anywhere. Ow, 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 ow. That would be quite painful, by the way. Walk, just walking through a... Uh, you know, letting the branches of a fucking... deciduous tree uh, rub across you. Oh no, it's a coniferous tree, isn't it? Like pine or what have you. I mean, it's very nice for a trailer, I gotta say. It is kind of a weird thing to have in a huge bottle on the table outside. A bottle of windshield wiper fluid. This door has slats in it. Oh. Welcome to... to... Oh dear. Mr. Wake. I'm... I'm so glad you're here. Rose, you have my manuscript? Oh. Oh yes. Yes. Please, come in.
Hey, this is really good. Rose. Yes. My manuscript. I really need it. I understand. I know what you need. A muse to inspire you. Oh, for Barry? She doesn't have anything. Yeah. Uh, hey, Al. Al, what's... Oh. Dear. Barry! What? What? coming for you, hiding in my barber's skin. I'm too weak to stop it. You must turn the lights on. I promised I'd come visit you and your lovely wife. You must finish what you started. I insist. You must turn the lights on. Turn the light on. really hate the way that the other Alan was I felt staring nauseous, at me. Hung over. Only anger kept me going. I can't tell reality from dream anymore, but it seems I have an imaginary editor to help me. She's an old woman in a funeral dress. No. I call her Barbara Jagger. She's very strict. I I'm writing faster and faster. My manuscript is being heavily revised. The edits are getting very aggressive, and each day there's less of me and more of her. I hate it. But I know she's right. Alan. She promises me I can save Alice this way. She knows more of this than I do. You can't about listen the to complex her. Complex incantation I'm attempting about this place. She's worked with another writer under similar circumstances, Thomas Zane. The genre of the story seems to be shifting. It's turning into a horror story. I'm getting close. I can feel it. I mean, I like the continuity that someone who lives in this town would have one of those plushies, the mammoth, but, uh... Oh. Oh, I thought that was a... I looked down at the bottom shelf, and from this angle, I gl glanced down, I thought they were, uh, video game controllers. Oh, it's my books. And they're still not listed in order. What was the, uh, the line I heard? Yeah, The Fall of Casey is the second last book. It's play on the, uh, followed by the final, the real final book, which is The Sudden Stop, which is a play on the phrase, it isn't the fall that kills you, it's the sudden stop at the end. I can't remember which novel it is. I think Return to Sender? It's mentioned as being a current movie as of 2019 in Control. Someone says, oh, I can't believe I'm missing the sudden stop for this. You know, props for not always giving him the same outfit for those photos. Like the top two seem like definitely seem like he was dodging paparazzi or something. He almost looks like he has a mullet in the one on the right. Well, I guess that's his hood, yeah. He does like this sweatshirt. Believe in chance. Oh, God in heaven. Rose took a day from me. I had less than 12 hours left to meet the kidnapper. All I could do was get Barry into the car, work something out once I got on the road. You know, I had a feeling that nothing was good here because she still clearly hadn't gotten changed since the last time she'd gotten home from work. And when we walked in, the way she was holding the coffee pot, it's like, she's doing the waitress thing. It's just using what she already knows. It, it's... I don't th know that she's taken, given that, you know, she's not covered in shadows, but... It was the same fucking thing. It was using the knowledge she already had. Uh, there was a comment. Someone had an interesting theory that I very much wanted to share. Where did it go? Um... Yes, shout out to Elthwar, who says, 
I wouldn't be surprised that if the darkness required the plane as a skeleton to make it fly. It's not creating, just possessing, and through that, empowering. It almost certainly requires a rough framework to make something. It's a bit Tolkien-esque in that evil cannot create, only corrupt and twist what already exists. There's a quote from the Silmarillions that says, Melkor spent his spirit in envy and hate, until at last he could make nothing save in mockery of the thought of others, and all their work he destroyed if he could. And, you know, I don't know, you know, we haven't seen everything yet, but, uh, you know, it does seem to be in keeping with what we've seen. It cannot create, only twist that which has already been created. Cooking with corn! 72 tasty recipes! And don't look into the sink, Alan. Or me. Next thing you know, we'll be going through a dirty laundry. Barry was out of it. He was way too heavy to carry. <laughs> okay, he's alive at least. You're right. Deserve more money. I'm so handsome. <laughs> oh, Barry. Well, she has more than one copy of Return to Sender. Welcome to the Oh Dear Diner. What can I get you today? Coffee? I couldn't work up much hate for Rose. Something had used her to get to me and left its mark. Yeah, she is not Rose okay. Fill is free. Milk and sugar on the counter there. Would you like to hear today's specials? Thank you. A nice day. Come back soon. It's like the Taken. She's just repeating things she says a lot. Going through a script and she doesn't... It's like she doesn't remember how to do anything else anymore. This is almost worse than the Taken because she's still here. She could still be in there and it's just... I'm sorry you got pulled into this, Rose. Frankly, you too, Barry. And the worst part is she has a lovely home. My gun and flashlight were gone. I'd have to find a way to get Barry into the car as quickly as possible. There was no time to waste. Well, I guess uh, Sheriff Breaker and Agent Nightingale are going to be very unhappy with us. Which might explain the page entitled, uh, what was it? Actually, I can check. Back. Nightingale fires at Wake. There it was. Excellent! The only missing page is one from the other difficulty. That makes me very happy. I got the same thing going on here. And, uh, but, you know, it was chapter one, so I wasn't sure if I should be proud of that yet or not. Anyway. Randolph calls the police. Mr. Randolph liked Rose. That little smile she had. How she was still sweet when life had tried so hard to make her bitter. It wasn't any of his business what she did in her trailer. But those strangers, the writer and his smart-ass sidekick, looked like trouble. And they'd been in there for hours, way past her normal bedtime. He reached for the phone and called the sheriff's station. Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay, this is gonna get worse before it gets better. Let's just go. It is weird that the only path to get there took us through some guy's backyard. Sorry if this wakes you up. Or if that did. I just stepped outside to catch a breath of fresh air. Let me tell you. The weather's getting heavy. Nights like this make me especially glad I'm here talking to you and not home in bed. Once once the weather takes a turn like this, I can't sleep at all. It's all tangled bed sheets and dark thoughts, punctuated by the occasional plunge into nightmare. <laughs> is it just me? Well, perhaps it is. But I hope I can make the night a little bit easier to get through. Caller, you're on KBF FM. Hey, hi, it's Walt Snyder. What's on your mind, Walt? Well, I am the way you are, but, well, uh, I can't sleep either, you know? Uh, I've just been staring out of the window 
sound scared. Trying to make sense of it all, but uh, I ain't been drinking either. You know, I just. Well, you sound like a man with a problem, Walt. Oh, it's the drunk. Tower thinking the same thing. What are you waiting for, Walt? I don't know. I, you know, something's gonna happen. You know, I gotta, I gotta, I, I think I better go. Well, Walt, uh, maybe. No, that, thanks, Pat. Uh, well, good luck to you, Walt. Hang in there. Uh, let's take a little break, folks. This weather's really something else, huh? How can I be sure? Oh, Jesus. Didn't realize it was this musical accompaniment. Okay, now the normal people are starting, starting to notice the incredible dread in the air. So, you know, hey, at least it's not just me. There is also the concern... ...that, uh... Well, I got a comment at one point from someone who was expecting the Toby broadcast to actually be Pat Main turned into a take-in and rambling on the air. And, uh... I find myself thinking, how many more broadcasts do we get before we run into something like that? Oh. I do not think this was here when we got here. That's an inconvenient place. Well, that's also an inconvenient place to put a boulder, but I was mostly thinking about this giant stack of skids right in front of the door at the top of a set of stairs. Oh, I thought these moonlight bits were a uh, manuscript page for a second there. But no, the table is just white. Oh, there's the timer. Oh, it's Randolph. Okay. Oh, you're gonna get it now. knows what you've done to that poor girl. This is Agent Nightingale, FBI! Get him up, Hemingway! You're under arrest! You move a muscle, I'll unload right in your goddamn face! Stay right where you are, Slane! How did they not hit him? I hated to leave Barry behind, but there was no way I'd miss my appointment with the kidnapper. Give it up, Mr. Wake! Come on! Take it easy! Don't let him get away! I'm gonna pause it right there because those guys are actually getting closer. And I'm gonna do an outro. I'm Burning Dog Face. And I'll see you on the next episode of Let's Play Alan Wake again, when we flee from the FBI through the woods, without a flashlight or a gun. <laughs> oh, joy. Oh, yes, 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 and we're heading to a meeting with the kidnapper without the ransom. This is, like, the worst way that this could possibly have gone down. Oh, boy. <sighs> See you then, Running Dog fans. And stay in the light. <laughs>